No problem. Hey, everybody. This is me and Todd. Uh, this may be our last in, in our series uh, where I've been coaching him. And the coaching is all about, has nothing to do with finding the best move. That's not something I'm interested in. That's not something I teach. But rather trying to think clearly during a game trying to come up with rational moves. That's all I've ever wanted. And in our coaching, what we're doing, this whole series has been about him getting so he can see the issues on the board and try to organize them well. So this will be our first session where he's doing that on his own. I won't be helping him. Um, uh, I read to him a little list that I put together, <clears throat> and I think I'll read it to you so you know kind of, you know, where we're coming from. So here's the list. Uh, number one, this will be played like an actual game, except that you are thinking out loud. Number two, deep thinking, overthinking, will drive you crazy and lead you astray, so don't. This is something that Todd, oh, when he tries to think, he tends to go overboard and go on. It's like, it'll drive you crazy. Uh, your out loud thinking will be a blueprint for others, so make it simple and clean. Number three, I don't step in unless I think you're missing something big or important. And at that point, I won't necessarily say anything, but rather I'll mark it, the thing that he's supposed to take in, at which point he'll make possibly an adjustment or an addition or something. Okay, good. Then, now I've got Crazy Stone running in the background, which I will transfer the moves to the board that you, the audience, see. I think that covers it. And, but, Okay, so I need to restart this because I have, I need to be white so I can step in and make marks. So let me redo new game uh, versus computer, computer level. I'm putting it at 4Q because it's not winning and losing. It's trying to think clearly on 4Q. He should be able to do that. Our color, that's Todd's color, is black. Start again. And no, I, I'm confused about the black white. I need to be white, which means you need to be white. Okay, let me do it again. New game, our color, white. That means that you need to be white in this game. So I'm getting rid of this. Custom game, spring, private, and you're going to take white in this game. So okay. go ahead and make, set that up. Okay. You're still black. I'll make you white. Oh. Okay, I think we're set. Sorry for the, that took a whole 30 seconds, everybody. Wasted your whole 30 seconds of your life. You're going to click okay, right? Sorry. Yep. No, no problem. And Crazy Stone says, boom. Okay. Need to so share the screen. For the most part, you may not say anything. It's like on this move. It's nothing to say. Yeah. Right. So you only say things when it's like something to take into consideration. We'll give it a try. All right. Um, we need to reshare the board. Thank oh. you. Oh, I've done that more than once. That is. I've gotten darned embarrassed sometimes. Do a whole video. Oh, I wasn't sharing the board. No. Oh. There we go. No cursor one. I was like, ah, oh, no cursor. <laughs> okay. And your move, right? I oh, played. Uh, sorry. Yep. Wait. Thank you. Computer plays there. 
Mm -hmm. I think I've got it right in my head now. All right. I've and got my head right, boss. Anyone know what movie that's from? I've got my head on right, boss. Great movie. So I can respond in the upper right. But there's also an unfinished corner in the bottom left, which is nice for black to get. So I'd rather take that. And I just intend to play out Jaseki here. I usually play this high. I don't see a reason not to. Hmm. Well, all the groups are settled. And he just contacted Q17. May as well respond and play out of Jaseki there. I don't see advantage playing way. Oh, let's see. I like this shape because it's super strong. Okay. I think it's proper to play one more move in the upper right uh, to prevent getting surrounded and forced into small life. Um, otherwise, groups are okay. So I'd like to like uh, strengthen my upper right position. So black is beginning to build something interesting on the right. He's approached my 4-4, four four, which is a strong stone on its own. There's some deep thinking here. Absolutely no need for any deep thinking. Okay. This is this is tricky for me. Uh, I I mainly I guess I'm thinking I want to disrupt Black's position. Um, do me a favor. Go through it again, real simple. Just do a basic list. All right. So uh, my I've got I would say three groups so i've got the upper right group that's absolutely fine the bottom left um whatever you say like the joseki uh ending group in the fourth line it's settled and strong and i've got a four four stone that's strong enough um black's so, group you're okay. okay i'm okay in a nutshell uh and, and similarly black's okay um okay. everything's fine um 
the big areas the the big area looks i i guess my feeling and maybe it's incorrect and this is where my assessment is often wrong is my feeling is that the right is going to become can become a big area uh, if black is allowed to grow it uh with a move i'll just say like p6 jumping out so i'm a little bit inclined to play around this area to prevent black wow, from this is getting it. so complex <laughs> right okay. so okay the the big area oh. yeah white's fine black's fine yeah there are two big areas on the board mm. you're looking now let's spend a moment defining this because this is something this is a key time mm. so i still don't have white you have white so pass me control that's why i wanted white so we should have made you the other color but in either I, case I can, take control. Control. I, I can only take control i can't right. pass so it. once you take it then right click on my name oh you can pass it oh i see okay uh go ahead okay now this is something that can be extremely helpful to people in the opening so let's start with area one that's blacks yes we all know that and it also happens to be cash yeah. area two that's whites but it's not cash yeah. so there's two definitions what makes this whites area that's the question it's not his territory no but there's white controls an area to the point where there's no room for black to have a living group so for instance black comes in uh does black have a living group inside no that's not a living group he has to run with so mm -hmm white is showing control because there's not room for a black group there so we have let me get back to it area two is whites but not cash area three is whites there's, there's not room for a full group there he can he can carve something out in a painful way but no that's whites Area four, that's blacks. We can just come in and live, mm -hmm. but that's blacks. Area five, blacks. Area six, no ones. Mm -hmm. Area seven, no ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're all seeing the same board. Good. So in the opening, play opening moves. Mm -hmm. We're going to be playing area six or area seven. Mm -hmm. Once you understand that definition, your the opening becomes so much easier and you're like i am so worried about the right but i'm trusting go i'll just do regular moves and not worry about it mm. this is a hard thing to do because it's scary right i'm just gonna play here okay it is it's all it fine. oh my god and now yeah. we've got this enormous oh what am i gonna do it's like it's right. always fine and that's hard to get used to okay so viewers yeah. i'm hoping you're understanding this definition and trust me dare i say trust me i gotta tell you i've been playing go a long time at the sixth on level 40 years and it still scares me but i just like oh just follow what you know and it'll all, just be patient it's all fine so this okay. is a great example of how to play simple go okay you may take control and continue so yeah i was i think in my head everything in my being wanted to play locally yep. around war that's and, I and was that's not a fine kidding. thing to do hmm. lots of things are fine but for a basic game which is all we're looking for right i'm okay and that's not the big area so big area um I guess it looks a little wider and I've got a bit more possible advantage. So I'll try this way. And click resume play. Oh. 
So, for viewers, there's really been no questions yet. It's like we just played in a corner, settled our group, played in another corner, settled our group, played in the next big area. There's been no questions. So, if you can learn how to play the opening, I don't mean blitz, lightning go, but just put the next obvious stone down. It's it's going to save you so much time and effort and stress. So when the time does come to think, you get lots of time on your clock. And you say, okay, what shall I think about now? And then try to make a simple choice. Okay, continuing. So the top is becoming big um, or has potential. Oh, simpler. Okay. Simpler group. Simpler. I would like to settle my group in the upper left. Yeah. How Pretty do you much. do that? Corner first. Yeah. yeah, I like this is big, the new one. Hey. Again, I want to point out to viewers, simple, easy. What was Todd doing? Well, you know, I'm really interested in this and that. Therefore, if we do this, whoa, it gets such, it's a burden. Try to relieve yourself and say, I'll just settle my group. Trust me, it will be make your life easier and your go will increase. Trust me. I hate saying trust me, but trust me. Oops. Uh, Undo. Oh, shoo. <laughs> yeah. That's going to get complicated. <laughs> uh, so I would extend here. I don't like black getting this move. Pushing. Mm. Okay. I shouldn't step in, but I can't control myself. <laughs> done yeah i've got options for life locally all, all groups are fine all corners are settled now's the time to decide do i want to do the top mm. or you know down at q4 i've always wanted to respond there hey and it's corner mm. so it's like will that make sense <laughs> or you know the left I'm just, I, yeah, the left's bothering me too much. I'm going to do something. But you make a choice and go forward, hopefully, in a simple way. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, the top left group's okay. Definitely try to leave it there. Um, hmm. So the big areas, yeah, the bottom right, I could play something, you know, take the corner. Um, the left side definitely is looking big with that, that new wall. So... It seems the bigger area. Hmm. The simpler, the better. And we know the rule, corner first. Yeah, let's just go simple then. Um, yeah. I'm going to... Go, go will be so much better if you just play simple. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the corner. The vast majority of players, when they get to one done, have all have the same thought. What I've been thinking all this time, it's so simple. <laughs> and it's like, it's like they don't believe it. It's like, it's so simple. Yeah, just sell your group, go to the next big area. 
when you do it, it's easy. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So am I okay? If he pl computer plays there, I am not sure I'm going to live. If if uh, so, I don't want to take any chances here. Uh, I'm inclined okay. to go ahead. Do me a favor. Get your mark ABC marker out and try to walk through this thought process in a simple fashion it's always difficult to do to do things simply it's hard yeah but what are the thoughts here we're assuming you want to defend your group and yeah i feel a needs defense i i'm not comfortable that it will live if black gets another move right how do we do that how yeah, many ways are there to do that let's do, ask uh, that question i can't well, specifically, I have at least four ideas. I will just go with something now, like... Now, there's only two basic ideas. Ah, okay. The, well, the one is to you know, capture one stone. And I guess the other one, I was going to push out at two. Ah. Okay. Those are the two directions. Now, you might be able to do them in, two, in different ways like do i play one or to come under the stone yeah but uh, so okay. you can capture a stone or not capture a stone you can play in the corner or a very small side yeah so, it's so like once you say it out loud it's like oh uh, two in the corner tiny and one i get the whole corner so <laughs> kind of a yeah once you say it clearly it tends mm -hmm. to answer the question clearly tiny side two points on the side or whatever however more points in the corner all right um i think i take off here otherwise black gets more forcing moves and i think i can play away nice yeah i'm okay Put your marker out what things are on the board so we consider where to play next what's interesting now i want you to spend a this is there's a few things here well i'd like to hear your thoughts hmm well uh this the the big black wall on the left uh so i'll just mark area one area one obviously yeah. a point of concern yeah um how to handle it is unclear to me uh, it is definitely on my mind um there's i know the i'll mark a specific i move i, I know this white move of two takes the corner in a sente almost fashion um so it's I like to play that to to get my corner and maybe in Sente. Okay, so uh, let me let's pause there for a second. <clears throat> okay. When you marked area one, you saw that as an area, yeah. and so you marked area one. Mm. Take the two. So that's what you're saying. Yeah. Right. Doesn't look as big now that I put it in the right place. Right. I mean, you could <laughs> mark h3 that's not your territory yet you can yeah. mark you could mark m3 that's not your territory yet mm, yeah so that's small. not the point in go yeah. mm. so take those off what is the point here so area one clearly a, a thing mm. what else i'm seeing two more two more um the the right is big is or has this potential to be big uh i guess i'll i feel like that's not quite where i, I mean it though it's more like 
going to develop in here something or here um yes. you seem to be trying to mark an area and you yeah. don't seem to be able to name it well that not, itself is a hint so it's not so concrete same same as my bottom it's not so yeah yeah so hmm well i'm having trouble finding more mm -hmm. like one is just so gigantic so yeah. i'm trying to find something comparable even now once i name the two other points of interest you'll go oh well that's incredibly obvious <laughs> darn it that's so, okay h17 you can H cut it 17. ah the cut. you can totally cut them and that's a white area you're in control oh nasty yeah boy okay yeah and next so mark the a at the h17 so it's the a stone that's the thing that stands out here if you want you can cut it and start a fight here which you're the one with a strong white group there it's a great the idea one, mark the r6 group six got it too far from home right the two stones have no base they're not home they're a problem mm. oh now you've been concerned about the right you've mentioned it more than once and lo and behold there's a totally natural way in mm. by attacking the b stones if you thought your top area oh i like that's bigger than area one then you'd cut if you look at all this and go yeah as true as all these things are i just think area one's biggest but you now have your three choices and you try to make a simple decision which one of those seems most important to you mm. points so of interest i want to ask the audience did you see the three things if not when i didn't see the three things i would just i don't know how other people do it i i make demands of myself uh and i would like I, i'm going to play this next game and all i'm going to think about is things that are missing area one uh, the a stone i can cut them off and look at that it's a white area that's important and i never would have looked at it before so there's a perspective you can kind of try to get yourself to look at so area one a and b are the ones i can see that stand out as an obvious flaw in someone's position these are really good they're they're for someone around my level these are very hard to articulate to, to spot and see why they're good and, yeah yeah okay should we continue uh yes okay and what i want you to do now is decide which one you think is biggest not mm. difficulty not i don't know what to do there but if you can name which one you want to go towards um i like a uh, cutting a as you as soon as you point it out i'm like well yeah that's that's incredible it works it's a i can't call it two purpose necessarily but it's on the left side which i'm worried about it looks like it could turn into a ton of points on top um it's great it does a lot of good stuff to cut great cutting at a there's only one choice if we're going after b there's a couple ways of tackling that problem uh, but here we well, there's only one option so you know what to do done uh, another thing that happens and go, you know, when we started this uh, video, I said, you know, I won't be saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> I That's good. I can't focus. I'm able to control myself. Um, now I don't remember what I was going to say, but I will put your move down. So I am 
caught in a ladder, the H16. Uh, goes right into those two stones or else the side of the board. So seems like the probably the best idea is to stand up. I don't think pushing makes sense. Okay. Black's taking a bit of a base. I feel like I should attack Black because I'm strong around a strong left strong right i do have those two stones with the cutting stones but um i should attack black's base while i have this opportunity okay get out your abc marker <clears throat> and i'll for the audience define attack attack means to remove an option of health okay. options include running so if you stop someone from running in a certain direction that's an attack Next option, life in one move. So if Black can live in one move and you take that spot away, he's no longer alive. And three, uh, if um, you can bother your opponent. So for instance, uh, mark the two white stones, H16. Black can bother them. That's an option for Black's health. If he comes out, you have to defend yourself. So if you play, for instance, K15, go ahead and put the stone down. That's an attack on black because you've defended the thing he could have attacked you, where he could have attacked you. It also stops a running direction. Mm. It's a double attack. Wow. It's a nice I move. didn't think that was going to be my move. But I'm now realizing that's a two-purpose attack. Wow. And the proverb says, uh, attack from your weak group. Mm. So this one, in my mind, is probably where I'd end up. It's a pretty this good move. Probably. I like it. Yeah. yeah. So get out your ABC, take this one off, and uh, mark all attacks. Uh I'll go with triangles for attacks. Uh, my my initial thought was this. Yes, I didn't think you'd find that one. Oh, that was my first thought. Yeah, because black plays that. Black's really close to living. Then your group is also becoming attacked. Yeah, so that also weird... is a double, a two-purpose attack, and mm. big. Yeah, yeah. So I'll mark your other. Uh, I wonder too if you could go a little farther. I guess I guess not. You really can't. Uh, we could say that the A triangle. We're not looking at specific spots, but the idea we can attack mm, the outside. Right, and um, pass me control for a second. Yes, sir. I don't want to use words on this one. Okay, uh, the A triangle. There's probably a number of places we could put this where A is defending himself and we're stopping Black from running out. But when we mark this one, it's like the most obvious, straightforward. I mean, I want it. I want it here. Mm. But but that's um, that's not the obvious, straightforward idea. So what I just like to mark this one is like, you know, that idea. That's the simple version of that idea. I might want to tweak it. So that's one. Here's another one. Mm. That's a totally different running direction. So, like, oh, well, that was easy run out. Or vice versa. Oh, just run on out. So it mm -hmm. is two different running directions. Yeah. So there's three runs, two of which are double purpose. Mm. B might be tripled because it's defense and black's pretty close to us. I don't think we're in trouble, but his next move, we're starting to worry. So it's defense, it's attack, and by itself it's big. And then if black doesn't respond, he gets no points at all there. Mm -hmm. So maybe even three purpose. So is yeah, there any of... say it again? I'm sorry. The I sometimes I wonder when I'm thinking about attacking uh 
to like play something like L18 to try to jump inside and play a killing move. I think too early here, right? Right. Surround first, then remove Surround eyes. first. Okay. 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 So we went through this and the the, the goal would be to uh quickly name the characteristics of we'd end up with the a and b idea mm -hmm. and then which one you prefer which one seems to be the simpler most more straightforward okay i like i like the b uh, I, honestly the b to me is it's cash it's powerful it, it just settles my corner and black's gonna run out anyway uh so that's my thought yeah. after all the discussion yeah, and we're not here for what's the best move, but it's a, certainly a rational move. Okay, rational move it is. A lot of second line moves here today. Hmm. Luckily, Black oh. for Q and playing it's ridiculous. Okay, you that's, get out. This is an opportunity for us. So you got both big moves. Yep. So to me, the first time in the game, we're simply at we got the two big moves. Black played a very small move. Yeah, this is the first time I feel like that was like that's like the minus thirty one point move or something. Um, okay, I think just uh, so I have to defend my. Uh, or I feel I need to defend my uh, H fifteen group. Those two, the two cutting stones. Um, the jump we were looking at earlier seems like the play. <sighs> Now that black's kind of strong, uh, those four stones are making a, a pretty good base. I should play stronger. I think the two space jump is too much. Um, so it's going to surround. I like your move. Mm -hmm. Expected. So the main thing I see happening here is black would love to connect up to the right side. Uh, so I should probably prioritize that unless there's something else um my three stones the cutting stones in the center are fine for now there's plenty of space uh so i i should separate uh those uh, the running group from the right hand side plus it's nice if i just do a jump out like 014 it starts making invasions on the right easy um that's about all my thoughts. So I'm gonna I'm I'm attacking black. I'm okay. Uh, black is not. I'm attacking. In summary, <laughs> okay. Black's out. Uh, black's out really strong now. I can't possibly attack black severely um, in this one move. So what now? I I feel like my. I think it's switched a little. My cutting stones. There's three cutting stones probably need a bit more shape now um because they look kind of behind enemy lines drawing a line from uh, c14 to m13 so they should uh build shape and if we can keep pressure on the running black group so much the better um how to defend so i'm defending my three cutting stones I feel like a jump toward the middle of the board is best, either the, the dog or the horse face. Um, I'm pretty, I'm okay for now. I think I'm gonna go and take the bigger idea. Okay, Black's trying to connect home. I see a cutting point now, like there's, there's a cut because of the, Knight's move. Um, that's interesting. That's that's very interesting. Hmm. All right. So I defended my group in the middle, so it's okay. Um, and my other groups are okay. Black. Black's running group is getting close to connecting home. I feel like I should uh, continue attacking uh, that running group, especially because of the knight's move. It's got a weakness. So 
I'm gonna I'm gonna cut um, how to cut. If I do, I think the I, I struggle sometimes with how to cut because I know you're supposed to do it at the belly, and I'm sometimes confused about which side it is. But um, I think it's this, and I think it works. The ladder is working for me, uh, and this being N twelve. I'm just double checking. I don't really want to. Sorry, the cat totally distracted me. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so here, there, and then uh, there's the ladder. The ladder is going. Boy, it's close. I feel like it might. Maybe I'm not strong enough to cut. I could maybe if I don't feel strong enough to cut, I could strengthen my center group. I'm sorry. Does the ladder work for you or not? I feel like it, here's the move I'm looking at, just to be clear, uh, uh -huh. to try to cut. I I think the ladder does. I think it works for me, but it's yeah. I'm scared. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So to repeat what you said, I'm fine. He's weak. I want to cut. Yeah. There's something else. No, <laughs> I just leave it there. <laughs> it's just fearful. This yes. is something we face all the time. We have to set it aside and do our best. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't read that ladder out. It's easy. Now, it this whole easy. time, we've been eyeballing the right. Mm. Uh, white, black. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. All right, so my cutting stone is not in a ladder. That is a weird move. <laughs> I think to black defended the wrong way. Um, so black's top group is in trouble. It's surrounded. It has. It can probably make an eye. I feel like I can just continue surrounding it. Um, if I strengthen my single cutting stone, that just looks like huge trouble. But okay, then I've got two I, I, I'm confused. Start over yeah. and, and so, so that a child can okay. understand it. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Uh, the Black's top center group is surrounded. Really? Uh, well, it's 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 getting surrounded. I should I take that back. It's black didn't black was unable to connect home there. So it's 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 just weak. I guess I'll say blacks blacks weak. Black is weak. Gotcha. All right, my cutting stone at N twelve is certainly weak. It, can't it is weak, and actually, I think it might be caught in a net. I didn't, I didn't see it at first, but I, I, it looks like a or a loose ladder. I forget which, but actually, it's in trouble. The the play at M at least weak, yeah, yeah, at the very yeah. least. So let's let's cut. I'm right. gonna, I'm gonna make that cut for real. All right, now just... going back to the purpose of our video and our coaching here, you were getting doing overthinking, really complicated stuff, and I said. Mm -hmm. Do it like it like like you're talking to a child, which is the way I understand things personally. And when you finally got to, he's weak. My cutting stone is weak. Mm. Then clarity just came and it became so obvious. Mm -hmm. And that's our goal. If you can say it simple, things get simple. Yeah, it's the insights. You just you suddenly say the right thing. Okay, well, not suddenly, but after after many years of practice. Um, okay, so this is interesting now. This is getting complicated. Uh, so, uh, White's upper right group is surrounded but alive. There's, I don't think there's any killing that group. Just to just to check in on it real quick, because um, it's totally surrounded. It's one hundred percent surrounded. Um, my 
I've got two middle groups now. I've got the four stones and I've got two cutting stones. And starting to get over my head. Yeah, it's it's getting this is it's getting over mine too. So the white I have week. I'm sorry. Is white weak? White is yeah so i'm gonna say a little bit the the two stones are kind of behind a very lightly sketched enemy lines of l11 and uh, q6 i would then like to get them out and home great there you go that it's just that simple because I'm, I'm also worrying about this cut and the run but i should just defend my weak group first easily get them home hopefully and then i'll fix the other group okay all right this is they're going to keep pressing now i need to think for a moment maybe i think need to think for a moment about the cut that black has left behind no no no, no. are you weak no. or not am i weak or not i am weak i don't i don't like then black don't cut. The, okay don't cut i i feel like i'm leaving my uh my four stones getting surrounded but they have more space so um I'm just going to jump again the easiest way. Those guys are out and home. Ah, uh, okay. All right. I don't feel very weak anymore. That that stick in the middle. Uh -huh. um, I think it can run to the bottom. It can start to cut on the right hand side. Uh, it could do a pretty nasty invasion. Uh -huh. So um, not weak there. Anywhere else weak? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like my four stones in the middle, the H15 stones, are just surrounded. They have no eyes, nowhere bit to go. Bit of cringe there. Bit of cringe. Gone to lots of room to, hey, I'm actually pretty surrounded here. Yeah, I'm scared. Time to defend. Okay. Now, man, if I want viewers to catch this, I keep holding Todd back. He starts going in with the, well, this and that, and I go, whoa, that's so complex. I bring him back to, are you weak? Well, yeah, then don't fight. Oh, it's mm. that simple? Yes, it's that simple. Mm. Okay, how to defend? Got anything helpful there? <laughs> There's a cut nearby I'd love to mess with. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea because that's fighting. You with... mean, uh, yeah, if you're starting a fight, no, 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 you're not ready to fight, you're weak. Okay. Are there any tools nearby? Anything, for instance, the cut you're looking at, but that's for aggression. That's not for defense. Mm. Anything else? Okay. The mm, the I think I think a move like K seventeen, the nose might be a useful move um, to make an eye and maybe even attack the like get that cut at M sixteen. I'm not sure that's a thing, though. Um, a lot of black I, stones there. Yeah. I think but the only real idea I've got is to make some shape toward the in the left hand side. But I feel like that's so so passive. the left hand side. That's you. You've been wanting to get over there for a long time, right? True. True. Um, and here you are. Yeah. So it's like so just, notice that flow. Hmm. We've been holding off on the left because there's other stuff to do. Finally, time to defend. And hey, a whole left area. Okay, I should be happy then. I make I can make some nice shape over here. Now we do happen to have a peep at D15, some weak stones. Yeah. Okay. Play the vital point, get information. A free move. It's always nice. Ah, uh, see, I guess I wasn't looking at that as a as a um in the same way because of the code that's there it didn't seem that strong oh i see i didn't even think about the code you're right maybe not uh so this would be this would be a more difficult question okay uh and so i'll leave that to you if it's like you know i must say that's just a i could die if he takes co i have to defend anyway mm. so i think i was mistaken i didn't realize it was code there Okay. So not a free move. He could. 
I think if he takes coat, we have to defend the corner, and there's no more coat. I mean, it's, it seems like, yeah. How do I undo? Why can't I just undo? Oh. Huh? Uh, well, you have control, uh, so you can. Undo. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. That's what I want. So just getting shape, moving to the left. Yeah. I, th I There's two shape points I see uh, is either G12 or F. Mark them for me. I have such a hard time with coordinates. Yeah. Uh, coming up. The either um, one or two. These are the two uh -huh. shapes I like. Um, I and like two. two leaves an elf and I. Ah, uh, that's a good I point. Like yeah. I don't like that either. So one All stronger. Right. Yeah. Let's just go with with that then. Yeah, I, I, I'm not playing. Resume now we play. did a lot of talking there and thinking for the most obvious move in the world. Um, my mistake was not realizing the co thing was there. Uh, but yeah, you can play pretty simple here all as well. Okay. These are hard for me sometimes. Just playing oh, that wow. simple idea. Okay, uh, we're getting uh, attempting to be surrounded here. Um, hmm. I want to get out my uh, four stones that are being attacked here. Uh, how to get out? It's either Hane on one side or the other. Go the easy way. Go the easy way. There you go. Always right. the right way. Okay. Whack left a hole, which helps you. You can you thicken up and center. Seven. This this move? Yeah. Thickened you up. Absolute center because he left a hole. Hmm. Very important concept. Hmm. And now we see a straightforward cut. Yep. Now we're not going to do that because we're weak. Right. But I think we do this first. Yes, he can't cut because he's cut. Exactly. Right. This right. is a great sequence. How can I get out? To notice he's weak and then you get out and yeah it's a wonderful little sequence this is uh, pretty my i'm playing above my level uh -huh. <laughs> oh okay hmm is that sente uh push it's there's a lot of trouble there okay i can't i can't withstand that push through so right now there's a whole bunch of q players out there they're going oh i think you can cut at m6 i think you can start a fight i think you'll win the fight. it's horribly complex from a weak position now i shouldn't talk because that's something i love to do i love to go kill things which means i'm leaving a weakness behind uh if it works you want to go after it but <laughs> this is the patient way that is simply better Oof, okay. Um, I need to think about uh, the 07 cut now. Does it work? If black cuts, I could maybe say Atari, but then I have to push through. Yeah, pretty weak. Black has four liberties left if I push through. Kind of a lot of room there on the bottom. It looks like enough room, especially because I've got the K4 is fourth line. So. I feel like I should just fix my cut. Don't try to capture four stones, but just fix my cut. Um, how are you going to fix? I, how am I going to fix? It's interesting because I could probably play something very loose, maybe threatening to capture the, the two stones. Yes. There's the tool. Time to use it. Yeah. Save the cut. Threaten the two. I kind of like the shoulder hit on Q10. Though that just lets black connect home. I don't, maybe not. That doesn't separate. And I want it doesn't to separate. save the cut. Oh, good point. Good point. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> save the cut, <laughs> threaten the two. Then I think this move is the move then. Kind of far from the cut. I think I can cut you. I think I can, can do you? something nasty here. You want to try? Back to P8. That's an honest move. I'm a cheater. Uh, P8. 
I'm so so tight. Oh wow. Okay. That was my first idea, and then I thought I'd go for more. So, I tried to actually separate. Black can't cut. White's okay. not weak. Your move. He probably can't cut, and you're you're kind of weak. Okay. This probably. difference. Yeah. We're defining how to play go. Mm. Okay. Now, when I was a Q player, fifty years ago. Fifty years ago. That's amazing. Um, I would, I want to know how to play go, right? And the stronger players would say, well, play strong. I had zero idea what that meant. And they couldn't tell me. And this mm. is it. Mm. Put your move back down. And as we look at it, notice how it's not exactly doing the job. And it's thin and 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 it's like so many things can happen here mm, sure but with yeah. a strong move you're good he's weak yeah well so this is a good definition of play strong thanks that's yeah, that's really that's a big deal okay back to it trying to do too much ah you didn't sente now, yeah if you want to cut go right ahead oh on bottom yeah yeah i should it, it sure looks like trouble i'll take four stones or something now do me a favor take that off get your abc marker out and as we've been doing what are the points of interest oh, okay this is something you always have to keep in mind okay so the points of interest uh I'm going to say there's still a little point of interest around a there, there's uh -huh. there's some there's some funny business in there but it's nothing right away i don't think a little something something a little something something um there's i'm actually pretty happy that the I'll, I'll mark the left side as having some potential for but it's it's way diminished that that g12 move boy that just did so much more than i really give it credit yeah for. really does a lot and change yeah. b to area one. Oh, b to area one yeah so area one is a concern, no doubt. Yeah, okay. there's Anything there's to be made there, and I need to I need life still. I'm not alive in any sense. Um, okay, so there's that. We've got um, so there's there's a my bottom group here um, has no eyes. <laughs> it's it's starting to run out of places to live. I'm sorry, too. is B weak? Oh, is B weak? That's a better way to say it. Is B weak? It's ugh, when I say it's weak. Can you attack it severely? Mm. If so, you're going to be. Yeah, defending. it's it kind of needs a little help. It it it's not weak. Kind of needs it, a little. That is a little so help. vague. Should you? Uh, oh no! A lot okay. of things are kind of your upper right, kind of sort of weak. Yeah. Okay. Weak uh or not weak weak or not weak it has got one two uh, probably three options for running or life so it's not weak. life yeah all right not weak um cool. these four Black stones are... weaknesses around a yeah okay now we've been on the wrong track put that b at m6 m6 you okay. can cut that's the simple cut way of saying you can cut okay okay anything else um anything else let's see so connected and alive uh i said alive earlier hopefully it's true um so my groups are okay except for my you know middle group that has no life yet but i hasn't been attacked either so it's surrounded by people about. watching are going Put it at C. Put it at C. I think everyone C. sees it except you just because we're having you think so much it's hard to see. Uh, but mark L12. L. The whole point of this is so because you're waiting oh. to cut this whole time. I'm oh. waiting to cut. So there's a massive cut at C. Okay. Yeah. That's a pretty big deal. Okay. I felt like I haven't been, I haven't strengthened my middle group to 
to support that yet. Maybe uh, you haven't. Mm. I'm not saying it's time to cut it. See, I'm saying it's obviously a point of interest. Gotcha. Now, when I compare yeah. these four, I'm getting rid of A right away because it's not very interesting. And if Black plays there, I don't care. Yeah. Later. Uh, C is the one I've been trying to do the whole time. Yeah. Am I ready? You're thinking not so much. Well, then head over to the left. Take it, get strong, take away more space. Yeah, I like that idea better. That, that makes it easier to think about. Um, so if you do that and he plays C, fine with you. Yeah. You I'm got okay stronger. With, yeah. I got stronger. I took more away from the, the left hand side. I could just build, uh, try to find a good shape point, like something boxy. There's, oh, you know, I could just run out some more. Oh, oh I could run out some more, like this, maybe. Yeah, this looks I like nice. how it's light. Yeah. And it's near a bunch of black, weak black, right? You've been looking for the cut. Yeah. And it's working fantastic. Nice. This looks good. A lot of potential. Oh. Okay. You have to decide, are you weak? Can he cut? Um, so it would be black. Uh, I don't see a... I mean, let's see. If you go Atari there, I need to fix the cut. He pushes. I can push back. So I'm not cut. Okay. Actually. Then go to Gote. Gote it is. Doesn't mean you're right. Okay. You're you're right. Wrong. I'll, I'll be proven incorrect. The I often will respond to this. I'll just think, yeah, yeah obviously okay. that's Sente. Um, now when I just want to point out, when you when I originally asked the question, are you weak? You start and you stopped yourself, but you started to say, Well, I don't think so. You know that mm. tone, right? And I was mm. ready to jump on you. And you pulled back and go, I don't think I'm cut. Great. Right or wrong, know. that's clear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you have well, Sente again. Yeah. Sente again. So I, I could, yeah. It's opening up for you. You can continue the left. Yeah. Life points. Uh, take a look at the entire black D16 group. Next move, they're completely surrounded and they have no eyes. Mm. Now sure. we can play third line here and actually surround. Oh, <laughs> look at that group, oh. that black group. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, what do you do? So you've been, you've held yourself back from attack, and instead you've been defending. Mm. All of a sudden, everything has switched. This happens yeah. constantly. Just be patient; it's all fine. And now, if you wanted to, you could go on a severe attack. Yeah, this feels like the time to do this guy. Um, okay. Now, yeah. when you do it, just follow through. It's an exceptionally easy read. A pass me control. Yeah, sure. I don't know how to say it out loud. It's too, too long to say. Oh. Well, let's just look at a real simple reading. So how do you feel about that? Mm, that's a good, pretty bad. Died. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's, you killed those four stones, but right. you're not ready on the bottom to do that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is an awful result. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult to you know cover all your bases, so we yeah. know goes hard. Granted. Yeah. But boy. I think. This has all been a very good example of how to think simply and how valuable it is, how to be patient and how valuable that is. Mm. So okay. you've got a lot of information. Go ahead and put the stone where you want it. Boy, you know, one I, place to put it, K3. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I had my, my, I've hovered over this. That's box. good grief. Yeah. Next move, he's annoying. dead, and you are so defended and so much territory. Give me a break. Yeah. What a wonderful move. This, this lots is nice. of places to play. This is nice. 
this this settles that makes my bottom group much stronger that's been so you feel great about that so there we go i'm happy and now i'll take those stones oh, we're proving proving whether i'm cut or not all right all right so how good is my reading not great this is i get in trouble like this so let's see i'm gonna go down and i can't because all right shoot i'm gonna get in a little trouble here let's see if i extend my atari stone i get three liberties black's got three black tries to cut and can't black has to connect i connect but then black can push through and take those three stones in the middle right okay. I'd like to save my middle stone. Saving the stone is a weak variation. You only want to do that when things are very clear. Yeah. I can step on the weak path and I'm fine. Yeah. That's, you got to be careful though. Otherwise, just fix your cut. Yep. Nothing so wrong with fixing a cut. I think the answer is just to connect. This is what I think I read out earlier was just to, this is the Atari I was worried about. I yeah. thought if I just do this, if I can try to push, I can set Atari back and connect. Exactly. Up. Right. Hey, I read it out right. That's that's about a 50-50 chance for three moves. Oh. Okay, black takes the stone. Um black can now push through and cut. But can black actually do that? It gets tough. Is black actually if black tries to push it in? eight i get strong and maybe can cut through his stones it's hard to say because my my oh six group is very strong now um hmm. so well, do you see. think white has a weak position there white does not have a weak position really so black cuts you your three stones are just fine my i'm gonna i'm gonna let them go I, is what I'm saying. Just let me mark stuff, just so I'm clear. Uh, I'm I'm okay giving up these three stones. Really? If I if Even I though capture... the whole reason you had them was to cut black, and black's totally cuttable. Oh. No way. Oh, I forgot my original plan. And when you save, it makes black even thinner. Mm. No okay. way. Okay. So I just want to get strong. Let me just fix my cut. Well, oh, I can't. Bamboo it. joint, and I dare you to count. I don't think you can count that how high. How many cuts does black have? Oh, one, two, three. I, I see six locally. Okay. Black is so weak, and you're so strong. Okay. Play strong. Oh, I hope some people at home are like, wow is it really can i really play that way yeah play that's strong tough. is a meaningful term it, it but yeah you're you're unassailable right you you get strong yeah. you're you're not the one that gets and black pressure. has cuts everywhere mm. yeah. so this has been such a good example i'm hoping people are catching it. is it actually 8 15. yeah we've been at this an hour. hour and 15 minutes yeah wow it's engaging I, I had no idea i was so engaged uh pass me control we'll stop here okay um and i want to do a bit of a review i mean this is i'm black is in such i mean oh, this is over. Black is it looks like, pitiful. so many cuts yeah you know if he saves he's just cut i mean there's so many things to do here okay Okay, so you win here, no problem. But me, I'm gonna take cash. I love cash. Mm. I'm I'm alive. I have cash, and dare I say it's sente. Sente, yeah. So I prefer that. There's nothing wrong with this move. If I'm gonna play this move, I'm gonna play it low. How come? Life points. For what's the fourth line for? Uh, influence. I have no purpose for influence on this board. I've got nothing going on. So I mm. play that third line. Your move, not a problem. You haven't lost a point yet, I don't think. He gets the cash, and he shares the corner. There's a few... Um, hmm. 
five Jusecki choices here. In this board position, E is generally thought of as best because you have a next move here that can be very powerful. If black had pulled back one, I'm going to put it there. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, well, the ace stone can't do anything on the right. What's it doing there? Wouldn't it be better if we perhaps put it here? Or here? That's very stable. Fourth line looks. So it all depends. But yeah, I think you played the right move there. He plays. Everyone's going to automatically play, right? This is just a knee-jerk reaction. But I mean, yeah. you're fine there. Yeah. That's hard to see. One black, one white, everything's fine. Oh, but I want the bottom. Why? Isn't the top bigger? Oh, I guess so. So we have these knee jerks that we need to get rid of. Yeah. We went to the next big area. Oh. This. There it is. I found it. <laughs> um and this is i think what most people are going to play you know use our position in the upper right to build yeah personally i just love the three three i mean i get almost giddy every time i play it oh i'm alive i have points i probably have sente so i like the three three this is perfectly rational uh boom boom settle don't do this side stuff because it's like I'm not saying it's a mistake, but do you is area one cash? No, is area two cash? Well, no, not really. <laughs> what are you doing? You know? Mm -hmm. Well, this settle my group and let black worry about the top. Did all our settling. And here the cute player is just gonna respond, right? Oh, I just better respond. Mm -hmm. well, you're alive. Matter of fact, black's turn may well be go tech. But anyway, so you played away very big. I would also play this move because a simple look ahead. Oh, Black's too far from home. He mm. owes a move. Mm. Since he owes a move, I'd probably put this on the fourth line, getting prepared for the attack that's coming. But still, your move's perfectly fine. Uh, and here, one or two. Sure, take it. Yeah, I like it. Should we play here? If we do, then later on, this will be a forcing move. Uh -huh. However, uh -huh. it gives Black this move as absolute sente. How valuable is that move? Near zero? Uh, okay. I mean, it's not, I don't, well, above zero not very meaningful so i believe i would descend yeah i agree with you now on the other it. hand if we capture and he says atari i think that's just go tech. right so i'm torn i don't know the answer on that one he did say atari and you cut which i would do also very nice this move to me means it means i'm aiming at this Mm. which means I'm aiming at the entire black group. Mm. Well, with the co, it's not really there. I'm thinking I might be playing this way instead. Okay. He'll probably do this. I need to stop the ladder. Mm. He'll do this. Can I keep coming? I probably play this way. I don't know. I don't, I don't mm. think it's easy. That's brave. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> And here, I, I had some real particular things to say on this position. I think that C is what anyone three down on down should be playing. Probably. That's the move. Uh, play for me, weak group. Yeah. I would play B. But now you've got some issues in this position we're lucky enough i'm going to attack again mm -hmm. because 
when he comes out, I can counter defending myself. Mm. He goes this way, oh, I'm going to surround you and, and save my group. You know, here, I'll probably play this way. In all cases, I'll be able to save my group. This is a long, complicated thing. So maybe this is just wrong, because what if he plays correctly? Ouch. Mm. I don't mm. know. Mm. I don't know. It's a difficult decision. But him being a, a what Q, 4Q bot plays a bad move allowing us back in and this is all good and fine we're doing well here nice cut and out i think it's very important yeah. out out and then i loved your tone here i'm feeling pretty good now hmm. that is such an intuitive statement we feel home I think you have to re, re rely on that from time to time because reading this out would be insanely difficult. Yeah. I think I'm fine. So you went to the next spot. Check out how patient and slow this looks. Don't be afraid of defense. It's really big. It's huge. This is huge. If he says, oh, I'm going to defend all my points. Great, let's let's go. Hmm. Oh, boom, boom. The hole. Now we see he's cut. Based on that, we can come on down and save. In sente. Oh, so hmm. big. Happy. We want to do this. We can't. We want to do this so bad. It's not time. Let's defend first. That's a beautiful move you came up with gorgeous surrounding black on so many levels defending mm. yourself ready to just play the dynamic move down here yeah some great stuff black i'm, I'm happy to let black connect up now one one giant stick yeah. across the board yeah <laughs> you, i uh, this whole black group in the center i've yeah. killed that group so many times the yeah. key player will think he's safe and i'm going actually you're not no nope. <laughs> he relies on it and at mm. the end, I catch it. How did you do that? Well, you just never quite got safe. Yeah, it was never two eyes. Never. Was... We saw so many excellent examples. <clears throat> I think this will be our last one. Um, the, the thing we're trying to get across is for the viewers to look and go, you know, to see the board in a simple way, as long as I see what's going on, what's the one you missed back here? 20 of them. Yeah, cut. And this. you caught area one is big and you couldn't find any others. <laughs> that is so classic of a Q player. So Q players out there, this is your goal. Yes, area one. Granted, that's a point of interest. But realize A is cut in a white area. B, too far from home. Black has two weaknesses. Now, I would have done the B one because hmm. I don't see a great attack on top. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go after B, just getting rid of his area, making him have a weak group. Uh, but any of the decisions is fine. You might decide, I'm just going to take care of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Might be a little slow. No big deal. How would you attack the R6? The third uh, good question. Um, my first thought is just stop from getting home. The reason I like it is because it sets me up for the next one. Mm. If I were to start mm. reading this out, I might change my mind and start here. Uh, uh, and I'm happy with that. Gives me the yeah. corner, first of all. Dare I say, in sente. Okay. Uh, and instead, if he says, I'm not going to let you, I'm sorry, bud, you've got a weak group here. <laughs> And I've completely removed your right side. So all these make me happy. But in a fast game, I'm just going to play here because it's too far from home. You can't do anything about it. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Excellent game for someone who wants to understand how to play simple, simple go, nice and strong. This is a great, 
example. Okay, Todd, thank you so much for being our guinea pig. <laughs> Thanks, Lance. Switched you under the microscope and made you, you know, jump through hoops, and it wasn't easy, but we appreciate it. I, thanks for the cheese at the end. Ah. Okay, uh, guys, catch you later. Bye. Bye.